Hey everybody, it's a recap video. We have goals here with this channel, the Ken Braverman channel. One goal I have is to get set one of those plaques that's a uh, 100,000 subscriber plaque as I'm watching the Colorado Avalanche just score to take a 3-2 lead in the Dallas Stars game, which we'll talk about in a minute as we go over some results and some sports from tonight. We've got some goals. Uh, 100,000 subscriber plaque is a goal of mine, even though I'll never be monetized on this channel and I, I'm not allowed to be monetized because I've been banned since 2010. It's a long time ago. It was a fortnight of years ago. That's what that was. Anyway, um, I would like to show them that I kept doing videos and I got enough subscribers that I got to 100,000. So that's a goal of mine. So for those of you who are cheap, and who do not want to pay me for daily emails of the algorithm, but you still watch the videos and you want my advice and you want to bet uh, because it does good things like it's been doing today. Games are not finished yet, but it's been doing pretty well. We'll talk about that today. Uh, the pick of the day hasn't even happened yet. Dodgers games in like the second inning or something just started, but a lot of other picks have won. We'll talk about that. For those of you who are cheap, uh, I do a video every day in the morning now uh, for the rest of the month, every day here in May until May 31st. And I send out a copy of the file and I do this unlisted video here on YouTube, the super secret. There's just a link. You need the link to watch it type video. And then I release that video later in the day so that everyone can see it after the games have started, uh, even though it was recorded many hours earlier. What I will do is I will start releasing that video when I reach a goal, a goal of mine is to get more subscribers. We're at 2,103. We are 2.13% of the way to 100% of 100,000. Let's get there. So tomorrow being the 16th, I'll release the video when we get to, let's call it 2,115. That's only 12 subscribers away. I'd be happy with 12 subscribers in a day. If you enjoy the videos and you got some good advice, maybe you want some money and you want to help me out and you don't want to pay for a copy of the algorithm, get your friend to subscribe to my channel because then you'll get to see the video and I'll release it because that's a goal that's reached, even if it's not a financial goal that's reached. So keep that in mind when you think, because there's a lot of unlisted videos I do for different people all over my channel. Uh, I don't know how many videos it says I have, but there are hundreds if not thousands of unlisted videos that you haven't seen so if we want to get those out there there are ways to get them out there and it's by getting me more subscribers so subscribe away and tell your friends um now let's talk about the sports that are going on i i did i did talk about baseball so even though it's usually a longer conversation we're going to talk about baseball today i said things like play la detroit and philadelphia detroit lost and they didn't put up any offense, which is uncharacteristic based on what the stats said for the day. And I, I mean, I, Trevor, Trevor Rogers was 0 in 6. He had an ERA of 6.57. He, I don't know how many innings he pitched today and watched the game or anything, but he clearly must have done better. And Detroit's bats, just while their lineup factor was low at 2.2, their bats are just dead. Same way, this is two games in a row now. The Tigers have been shut out. They were shut out one nothing yesterday and now 2 nothing today. That's the only amount of runs we saw them getting anyway, but um, Detroit didn't score. All right, well, it happens. It was inconsistent with the stats, but that's sports. Sometimes the numbers don't work out. Other things, though, won, and, and majority of the day was pretty good. Uh, Houston game's still going on, but Baltimore, Milwaukee, Philadelphia won. Texas is winning. San Diego at this terrible line is way down here and they lose algorithm appropriately moving San Diego way below Houston. Just algorithm doing good things, algorithm showing profitability. If you weren't greedy and you just made straight bets all the way down on games where the margin is 10% or greater, you had a very good day, both with combination 240 and with the macro aggregate as a whole, which was this list over to the right. This list right here, we got a lot of stuff up, but Milwaukee wins, Detroit loses, Dodgers are playing, Philadelphia, Houston, Texas, Baltimore, Seattle wins also. I mean, you actually do better over here with the macro average. It's six and one. 
I mean, all, they're all favorites, but we moved the biggest favorites to the bottom. We also catch an underdog with the Yankees. Once again, MLB algorithm, regardless of what happens with the pick of the day of the Dodgers, beats the odds makers today pretty handily, in my opinion. We got the only underdog right. We moved San Diego down to the ninth pick. I don't know what, what else you want it to do. You leave Houston up there, and Houston's winning like three or four nothing right now. Like, good for the algorithm. Let's talk about NBA as I watch this hockey game with about eight, 15 minutes left. NBA, Boston wins and covers today. Uh, always going to be an iffy matchup about whether or not a team covers 14, 13 points, which is what they need to cover today. They do. Algorithm said they would win by 13. They win by 15, and the spread was 14 and a half. Sketchy, sketchy to see a spread and a margin of victory being a half point apart, but whatever. Boston sports for you. Not only are there a lot of Boston sports, there's also a lot of Dallas sports going on right now. The Mavericks are playing. I don't know what the score of this game is, but I believe it started. OKC versus Dallas Mavericks score. The Thunder is trailing the Mavericks 40 to 31 in the second quarter. Is it going to be a night where Dallas wins in three major sports? If you call WNBA a major sport, because we're going to talk about WNBA next, of which one game is complete and the underdog uh, of uh, the Chicago Sky do not beat the Dallas Wings. Dallas Wings win 87 79. You know, the Sky were winning for a lot of this game. And the last two minutes of the game, they completely fell apart and went from a two-point game to whatever, an 11-point game or whatever the loss ended up being, right? They lose by they lose by eight. Really? Is that what happened? Did I type that score in right? I think I typed that score in wrong. Hold on a second. 79-87. I think it was 80-89. Wait a minute. Let's find out. Dallas Wings versus Chicago Sky score. Today, the Wings played the Sky. The final score was 87 to 79 Wings. Wow. Well, that's pretty amazing because the spread was eight and a half and the Sky actually do cover that eight and a half. So that does win. Um, I talked more about taking the Sky to win, but I, I think I talked about the Sky plus eight and a half. That does win. So in that case, that's actually a really good prediction out of the algorithm. Said the line was distorted. Didn't think the sky would win, but thought it would be super close. It was not as close as the algorithm thought, but that's because the sky fell apart in the last two minutes. It's really weird. So this is okay because because the sky cover. We'll see if the Atlanta Dream beat the Sparks in a late night game because the algorithm would think so. And I'm a Jordan Canada fan. So we'll, we'll watch that. Uh, hockey, before we briefly go back to NBA and talk about the Thunder Mavericks game. Um, that's baseball, Dodgers, NHL. Thinks that Dallas would win this game that goes, you know, like 3-3 to overtime. But wait a minute, is the score 4-2 to two now? Glass is on. It is. Whoa, 4-2 to two Colorado. That's a big lead now. Two goal lead in a playoff game is something. So I don't know what happened, but Colorado scored some goals. So Colorado may be forcing a game six because they don't want to go down yet. It's hockey. It happens. So that would be a loss for the algorithm if Dallas does not come back to win. Now let's finish off with NBA. So you have Boston covering and winning. What do you do with the Thunder situation? Somebody pointed out that this series is 2-2, not 3-2. Is that right? Dallas Mavericks versus Oklahoma City series. Currently, the Mavericks are leading the Thunder 45 to 33 in the second yeah, quarter. That is 2 2. You're correct. Thunder are home, then they would be away, then they would be home because they are favorite. Um, the line's just not good enough because these are toss up games. So you wait till they're an underdog in game six to play them, and you should have played the Mavericks today. You should play the Stars, the Mavericks, and the Wings. And you would have won with the Wings, and it's undetermined, but you're ahead with the Mavericks right now by 12. And <laughs> that's what you should do in this game. So anyway, I figured I'd do the update video 
just to let you know that there are other private videos going and the WNBA videos are going to start being private as well, which get released later because I offer a subscription for that as well. And now that we're going to be putting in actual current season stats starting tomorrow, uh, I will have a lot more to say about predictions of these games because what we've learned in the first two days to share it with everybody before I'm sure the stats will confirm a lot of this, but some of these games aren't over yet is that, yeah, the aces are still good. The Liberty are still pretty good. Dallas just scored to make it four to three in the avalanche game, by the way. Yeah. The storms still suck. And it was just as bad as the links. The sun are still an okay team. They're like a, they're like a third or fourth best team in the league. The fever have not gotten better with Caitlin Clark yet. Uh, the dream may have gotten better with Jordan Canada. We'll see. The Wings are still pretty good in a high-scoring team, and the Chicago Sky are still a mediocre team. Though, and the Sparks, we don't know about yet, but they lost at least Canada. So we'll start to use that information and really be able to pick off wagers in WNBA. And WNBA is a sport that on, on average is going to have like two games a night two to three games a night at the most and one game on the, the short nights, right? So what we will do is we'll really analyze these games in a private video, come up with some very specific picks because our point projections should be pretty good and our certainly our margins should be excellent and our injury report analysis should be excellent. We should give us enough information to do some interesting things like we've already done here in game one which was, if you think about what happened in the first game, just based on last year, we had things like this ridiculous line, which you should have taken the lengths, even though it said favor the storm. We had uh, the plus points on the Chicago sky against the wings, which they covered that. Um, so interesting stuff to start, and we'll see how this evolves. But uh, um that that's where I'm focused here the rest of the month. And then after that, after that, I'm going to be on the road doing a bunch of other things. Um, so the dailies will stop, but hopefully you're getting enough from this to be able to take this file yourself and do the updates and feel confident with what you have that you can use it to make your own projections. Cause that's the goal of all this is to have you take this methodology and then not have to rely on me so that I can provide these for all the major sports. And then you can just be on your way and enjoying it. And um, every once in a while, when you need an update or something like that, I'll probably have done some update work on the file that you're working on, especially if we're in that part of the season. Because as you can see, I'm focused on things like baseball and WNBA at the early part of the season to get them all set up. And I haven't made hardly any changes to things like NBA or NHL, just the regular daily refresh, which doesn't take long at all, an update of entry report. So whatever you're working with and whatever sport you're working with, I'll probably have something that's more current than what you had. And if I've made any adjustments to it, then you're going to get that version. So when I sell these things on my website, they're like 25 bucks here, 30 bucks here, or 50 bucks here, whatever. Even if you only get one copy, it's one copy that's accrued the accumulated work that I've been spending on that sport and it's current in that sport. So uh, I got some requests today, for example, for soccer files from like seven or seven different soccer leagues that I've done in the past. I haven't looked at those in over a year, I think, for most of them. They're not updated. Um, they're a mess. They're not something that I would even recommend as a good betting tool. They're, it's a really tough sport to bet on on soccer. That's the that's the abnormal case when it comes to this. Usually things like football, college football, NBA, NHL, baseball, regular um, hockey, uh, college basketball, um, those sports are going to be current especially in the beginning of the year. And that's why I charge a little more for them. And I do the daily email sometimes because I want to get you doing all this yourself. I don't want to have you as a permanent client. It's not the way I want to do this because I think that sports betting is the type of thing that you can be all in on it sometimes. And it can be a, a huge focus of a night for you. And it's something to do. Like I understand that, that you could be in any part of the country, any part of the world, oftentimes making wagers on games, having something where you have a financial stake in something and you can do some research to try to make educated wagers 
so that you don't donk away your bankroll and you accrue at least a percentage with regular basis. I know there are people that have done this as a career and I can see how you can make a career out of this. If you're making large straight bets in very opportune situations. Well, I, I while there are negatives that go along with sports betting in terms of, you know, trying to wager to, to make a living when you're not making a living, um, to wager more than you want to, to find yourself addicted to it where you're not doing anything else. These are all things I've suffered from here. Um, that can be a problem with it. However, you have to weigh that with the fact that it is economic activity that you're contributing to from the comfort of your own home or from your phone or from wherever you are. You are watching the games and then participating in the viewing of the advertisement process. There's a lot of economic activity generated by sporting events. And in that sense, it's a, it's a positive because it may get you more in tune to what is out there. So I'm, I'm a bit torn on how to handle all this. And that's why I want to build the products, make them work as best as possible, and then pass them on to you so that you can easily try to manipulate them and update them and get them to do what you want. And they're a benefit for you because they're a way of aggregating information that's helpful for you. And they're a benefit for me because you pay me for the product and then I've built something and then you can just not, I don't have to do it every day, you know? So I don't have to charge you every day and charge you a one-time fee and you just take it. So that's what I'm trying to do with this because there are a lot of other things I want to work on. And many of these sports, one of the reasons why I stopped doing them is because I feel like, all right, like I'm done. Like we'll, we'll have a few days like this in a row of, of uh, MLB, for example, or especially WNBA. But we'll have a few days of MLB in a row here where I really get this distribution down well, where we go like five and one, six and one, like four out of seven days, five out of seven days. Like we push all the uh, the uh, the favorites that lose further down. We catch more underdogs. And it looks like we're just annihilating the odds makers every day. When that starts to happen, what I do is I go, oh, the thing I built works now. I guess I can move on to something else. And I just like stop focusing on it. So it's terrible to listen to my financial advice. It's great to use the products I've created to make, generate your own profit and do it the way you see fit. Like if you're going to have a gambling problem and you're going to do crazy stuff like bet 15 team parlays, once in a while you're going to win, but it's very rare. Most of the time you're going to lose. If you want to be more structured with it and you want to make straight bets on teams that have high margins in all the different sports, you're probably going to find yourself profitable in the long run. Even if it's not some abnormal, ridiculous profit, like, you know, you're making five to one every day. You no, know, you're making like three to 5% every day or something like that on average. That's excellent. It's excellent. You think about it, you know, if you had a hundred thousand dollar bankroll and you're making $3,000 on average a day, that's excellent. Say, so you have a thousand dollar bankroll, making $30 a day. It doesn't sound awesome, but it kind of is because when you think about investing money in the stock market, if you made 3% a day, like that's insane. 3% a day would come out to uh, almost 900% a year. Is that right? I think it might. 365 times three, right? The market isn't open 365 days a year, but there's sports 365 days a year. So you, you could conceivably make 3% a day in sports. Um, that's an interesting test that does this make 3% a day. You can see that already today, while we don't have the Dodgers game in here, when it comes to baseball, every team above 10% margin, that made you 29% today so far, with the Dodgers game still outstanding. This is showing you your total ROI over here. That means you bet $100 on each one of these five games, you bet $500, you end up with $643. At the end of the day, you made 143 bucks. And you lost the game. You didn't, even go, you didn't even go perfect, right? If you bet a parlay on that, you would have crushed it, but you also would have lost because Detroit lost. So there's ways that the odds makers get you and the bookies get you by making you bet parlays that you really shouldn't because the edge is in their favor. As you see with straight bets, you're profitable all the way down this list after the second game. Uh, actually, you're you're lose it down here too. 
with San Diego and Atlanta using, but it told you not to take San Diego because they were minus 245 all the way down here. So I almost want to remove them off the list because it told you do not take them. But I actually said in the video, take Colorado just for the hell of it. They freaking win. Anyway, long video, long discussion about betting and how you should do this psychologically and also what my goals are for the channel. So if you want to get more of these unlisted videos out there, you go buy algorithms, you get subscribers to the channel. You do those two things and you're going to see more videos and private stuff getting released to those who don't pay me for the product directly. And I don't want to shortchange those that are paying for it, but understand that if I'm doing videos about things, that means I'm spending time and focusing on the sports. And the more I work on these algorithms, the better they will get. Because if they get ignored and I stay away from errors that are persisting, they get worse just as they kind of deteriorate and decay a little bit if you don't maintain them appropriately. So when I'm doing videos, that means I'm maintaining them. So good luck, everyone. I hope you picked one today. I hope the Dodgers can win. Give me a Dodgers score, Google. What's the score of the Dodgers game? Currently, the Dodgers are trailing the Giants 2-0 to zero in the bottom of the third. No, but it's only the third. Time to live bet the Dodgers, basically, because we thought their hitting is so strong that they do come back and outscore San Francisco. So we'll find out if that happens. It's only the third inning. It's baseball. There's certainly a chance that might happen. All right. Good luck, everyone. Who picks one today? And I hope they continue to be winning. And I hope I get subscribers. What do we need to get? 12 more subscribers by tomorrow, and you'll get the baseball video public and the WNBA video if that one isn't already public. All right.